morning guys it is saturday morning and we are out running a few errands we had a pretty chill morning we just had some coffee and went for a walk remy is getting like over the car right now but we are headed to go pick up some dumplings um there's this new company in minneapolis where you order them on wednesdays and then on saturdays you go and pick them up at this little like pop-up spot um they're called saturday dumplings and they look so good so we ordered them on Wednesday and now we're gonna go pick them up and I think we're gonna make them for dinner tomorrow night which um, will be really good but that's where we're headed right now and poor girl Here's what we picked up. First off, the branding and packaging is spot on. It is so cute. Um, we got an original kind of like classic pork and cabbage one. And then this one is a um, brisket with carrot and like spices. Um, I'm not really sure. I haven't tried this before, but so cute. And then we got a bunch of different sauces to try. So this will be a really fun thing to do tomorrow. Um, but I'm gonna stick them in the freezer until we're ready to make them. Okay, we just got ready. I was gonna vlog, but honestly, we're trying to get ready within like 45 minutes and it was just kind of chaos and we're all sweating, but we're ready. And we're gonna head over to my cousin's house just to hang out for a little bit before um, we head over to the wineries. Um, so yeah, I'll bring you there. I'm not sure how much I'll vlog in front of my friends because I'm a little shy about it and you know how that goes, so. We'll um, to probably do a little B-roll. We'll vlog a little bit. Is that a puppy? Is that a puppy? Oh, is she a cute puppy? Oh, she's a cute puppy. She's going to give you a kiss. It is Monday morning, the Monday after daylight savings, which I have been warned that daylight savings with kids is really challenging sometimes. And so far she's been doing pretty good. We have been trying to do the transition from her crib for, or from her bassinet to her crib for probably like two weeks now so we've been kind of struggling with that so I feel like it's all just kind of lumped together and hopefully in the next like week or so she'll kind of get the hang of things um but that's besides the point it is Monday morning and I got ready really quickly it's like I don't even know what time it is it's eight o'clock and I was gonna go to Trader Joe's and Target like right when they open just because we've been awake since like 5:30, and I was like well maybe before her first nap we could like run quick but she was not in a good mood and she is already down for her first nap which is really early but I'm just gonna kind of let her she clearly needed some sleep so I'm now folding laundry and I meant to vlog yesterday um, but to be honest I just really wasn't in the mood um, I did film a couple clips and I'll put them in probably in a little bit here um, but we went for breakfast and then later that day we made the dumplings that we picked up on Saturday which were so amazing so I'll maybe like just show the quick few clips that I filmed for that right now
So yeah, that was basically our Sunday and then we deep cleaned our house all day yesterday and really all that I have to do for like household stuff today is laundry, which has been neglected. We have so many loads of laundry, you guys. So am I folding? I was just folding a load of laundry that David has already folded. I didn't even realize that it was folded, you guys. I clearly haven't had coffee yet. Anyways, wow, this is a chaotic intro. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to let her nap, and then I think we're going to run to Trader Joe's and get a couple groceries. Um, I think I've mentioned it before, but I've been doing the Target shipped um, on like Sunday afternoon, so I'll just get my groceries delivered. But um, I like to go to Trader Joe's like once a month just to get those like random things that you can't get at other stores. And then I thought I would hit up the Target dollar spot to see their new holiday stuff because they usually have really cute stuff but like anything it goes really quickly so I thought maybe we would do that today and then tonight I have a little girls night so that is my plan for today um yeah she's already awake I'm not really sure what she's doing today because she's like just so off her schedule I don't I'm hoping she doesn't like not feel good Those are our two tricks. Okay, we're back and I thought I'd show you guys quickly what we got. I'll start with Trader Joe's just so I can put some of this away. Okay, the first thing is a loaf of wheat bread, which a lot of their bread didn't seem super soft, um, but I needed some and I didn't feel like going anywhere else, so we got the wheat bread. And then I got quinoa and black bean tortilla chips, which we've had before and we both really liked them, so I picked those up. Okay, and then I picked up some pears because all three of us like them, so I grabbed some of those. Uh, grabbed Remy a mango and also grabbed her an eggplant, which she's never tried before, um, but we're gonna try that this week, I think. Okay, I feel like everyone does this, but I picked these out specifically to try on my way home because I was starving and these were at the checkout and I thought they kind of sounded good. Um, they're butter toffee pretzels, so mini salted pretzels tossed in a buttery toffee and they actually are really good. They kind of look like that. Um, I was thinking like on the way home where I would want to eat these. They're really sweet. They're more like a dessert than like anything else obviously um but i know on like cheese boards you put like chocolate sometimes and i was thinking that instead of chocolate these would also be really good on a cheese board and it just kind of felt festive so i feel like um for thanksgiving or like around the holidays making a cheese board and putting some of those like buttery um toffee pretzels would be really good but um yeah i liked them then I got some grapes. I'm normally a green grape gal, but they didn't have them, so I just went with the red grapes, which I think David might actually prefer, but um, yeah, got red grapes. Um, picked up some tortillas and some hash browns that you can just like pop in your toaster or on a pan or something. They're just really easy for breakfast. So I got those. One night this week for dinner, David's gonna be out with a friend. So I just wanted to make something really simple. So I got this um, organic tomato roasted red pepper soup and I'm gonna make grilled cheese with that. So it'll be really quick. Um, and then I got more brown rice, which I literally never leave Trader Joe's without a box of that. Okay, this is something new that I haven't ever bought. My cousin had this at her house last Saturday when we were there and it's super good. Um, they have so much cheese there that I get like a little overwhelmed by all the different kinds and I feel like I end up buying like the same like five. Um, but this is a new one that I hadn't ever bought before. It's the Toscano cheese with black pepper. So it's a rich creamy cheese coated with cracked black peppercorns. And if I had to like give you um, 
an example of what it kind of tastes like. It's a mixture of like a cheddar and a Parmesan, kind of. Um, it was really good though, and I really liked it. So I grabbed that, black beans, and then I grabbed a cantaloupe, which I don't think is in season, so I hope it's soft enough. Um, but I wanna give that to Remy this week. And then I also grabbed just one of these like prosciutto, um, salami like trays just to have like meat and cheese because I have been loving to have that for lunch. Let me show you these crackers that I got. Okay, so these are the crackers that I have been loving. Um, they're gluten-free. My aunt um, told me about them and I've been loving them. They're super thin and like really crispy. So I feel like for lunches, all I've been craving is to have like some cheese, some like prosciutto and just having this with like olives, like that's like all I want. So I grabbed some stuff for that, but these are super good. And I actually, this is way sidetracked. I just took um, a food sensitivity test last week. We haven't got the results back yet, but pretty sure I maybe like have something with like gluten and dairy. I feel like I've always known about, but I've just kind of ignored. Um, so yeah, I took that test last week and I'm waiting for the results but um yeah these are gluten-free and they are really good and they make me want to have cheese boards all the time and then I went to the liquor store connected to Trader Joe's you know typical Monday at like 10 30 in the morning activities um but I just wanted to kind of restock some of our wine and I got this one last time it's a Pinot Noir and um it was really good I liked it a lot so I grabbed a couple of these and then the rest of them I haven't tried, so I'm not going to show them to you because I don't know if they're good or not, but um, this one is really good. So if you like a Pinot Noir, um, try this one. It's really inexpensive and good. So that is what I got at Trader Joe's. Let me put this stuff away and then I'll quickly show you my Target haul, which is very boring. Okay, it's actually not that boring. I just didn't get a ton of stuff and I'm pretty sure uh, my dollar spot was kind of either picked over or um, they were still like filling it. So I want to go back though because I did see a couple things that I really liked. Um, I just know there's like other colors and stuff like that. So um, what I did get, really cool, it's a toilet bowl cleaner. Um, and then my Target actually just opened an Ulta inside of it, which is so amazing. It is so like convenient. Um, so I got some Morphe continuous setting spray. I talk about this all the time, but I, I've literally probably gone through like 10 or more of these. They're so good just to keep your makeup on all day. So I needed more of that. And then I went to breakfast yesterday and our waitress had the best brows. I was like, I have to ask you, like, do you have your brows laminated? Because they were just like perfectly groomed and they were beautiful. And she's like, no, I actually just do it myself. And she showed me what she uses and she uses this product by NYX. Um, so I haven't even really read about it but it's supposed to like style your brows to kind of look like they're like laminated and like kind of like sculpt them. And then um, it stays on all day, she said. So it's transparent too, so it doesn't, um, it doesn't have color, but I'm gonna try this. I'll maybe try it on after this um, and see how I like it. And then I picked up this little sweater vest. It's just like a cream um, sweater. I, I don't know. I'm going to try it on. I didn't feel like trying it on at the store and it is like a pretty, I had a size up because they didn't have what I normally would have gotten. So it might be too big, but, um, I'm just going to try it on. I liked the color and I kind of had an outfit in mind with it. So we'll just try it on. It was like $20. So we'll give that a try. And, um, yeah, that's all I got at Target. Okay. I'm going to try this out. I just want to kind of look at what it looks like. Okay. So the wand is like very tiny. The bottle's actually so cute, except it looks like super glue, which I guess it's supposed to be brow glue. So, okay. I'm going to run downstairs, grab all my clean laundry and just put it in a pile, sit here and put on a podcast and fold because I think at this point I have like four loads of laundry that need to be folded and like four more to do. Are you guys like this? 
I've seen on TikTok that there's this new thing where I have to maybe like read about it, but I'm someone that I'm not very good about just doing like one load of laundry a day. I kind of like let it build up and then I like spend all day doing it. And I don't know what's worse. I don't like to do laundry. So I'm like, is just trying to like crush it all out in one day better for me? Or is like doing like one load every day better for me? Or will that just feel like I'm always doing laundry? I don't know. So if anybody has tips on how to like not hate laundry, let me know. <laughs> <laughs>